One of the garages I've always wanted to visit is Janaid's garage. Fahed is like an old friend, and he's like, dude, I got something for you to see. Wow. I'm in love with this car. I know you're going to kill me because you have an Aventador, but to me, this is like the last Lamborghini. Authentic. Actually, I have to agree with you. Yeah, it is, right? It's the the big real boy's Lamborghini, Lambo. the it one is. that makes you nervous to exactly. drive. The big boy's Lambo. It turned out to be a Diablo Roadster. So this is a car which I've always said will appreciate one day in time, and it's happening now. Oh, man, I'm in love with this baby. I think it's the only Roadster here, right? It's the only one behind. And there are only two of these that were ever made in this color. It's called the Lambo 30. I didn't know you could get them. When did you guys It's been here for a while. What's the mileage on it? I believe 9,000 miles. It was almost brand new. Unbelievable. My jaw just dropped open. He had the 30th anniversary color on it. There's only two of those in the world. How cool is that? When we bought the car, the guy we bought it from... It's like triple the amount. He wants to buy it back. He's like, we buy the car back. We won't sell it, though. You go out in this, it's a head turn. OK, listen, I want to do a photo shoot for this. I had it in mind that I want to put this car on the front cover, and I was going to use the bubble Bahrain backdrop with it. I'm looking over there and I see there's something a Testarossa. I can show you that. Man, I can't believe you got this, dude. Two in one day. You've like yes. shocked me. You've got the Diablo and now you got the Testarossa. The special baby we got. Yeah. It's a flying mirror. Yep. And the center bolts. This beautiful Ferrari Monodado. I was like so impressed. These are the first ones, right? Yep. Yeah, there were only 703 made of these. Wow. This must have cost you a pretty penny. It was actually a bit Because deep. I know that these are like appreciating like mad just yes. because of that you mistake know what's the story that they made. That one mistake has made this car so expensive now. It, it looks really good. Uh, actually, this and car... And it's in mint condition, by the way. I'm looking at your the order, the, single the bolts and everything. Same way. Since 1988, 85. The Monodado has only one mirror on the left side. And you see, the beauty of this car and why it's appreciating is because of that one side view mirror. It's a mistake that actually paid off. Wow. It is brand new. Everything is original. This is a keeper. Yeah. Although, I'll tell you something. I normally like the 512 TR better. It's the upgraded version. It has I'm not circular lights behind. True. I'm not crazy about the 512M, although it's nice. It's more refined and it's a better engine and stuff. But now this has been going up and my head's like spinning about this car. And this is one of the things which I've been telling Samir that classic cars are back in. This is a young guy and he happens to choose that kind of a car. I never thought somebody would bring this one here. That's the icon. It is. And and it's, ultimate it's poster cars car. You, it's cars that you guys grew up watching. Yeah. I need to bring Samir to see this because he loves Testarossa. The best thing is the pop-up headlight yeah. and those scars yeah. on the side. That's what actually makes these Testarossa. You know what Testarossa means? Red head. Yep, the red heads I've been using for a very long time. The trend is changing. People his age are actually appreciating supercars that were from the 80s. He knew the entire history of the cars. I'm in love, dude. I don't know how I'm going to feature this because I've already featured a Testarossa recently, but I'm going to make special place for this. Actually, because to me, it's a very educative article. Not a lot of people know about this mistake. About the flat 12. Absolutely. I don't think Ferrari's ever going to produce lines like that since the design was from Pininfarina. They moved on into a different design direction. I doubt it if it'll ever come back unless they do some kind of a retro car. Something special might be brought back later on. It won't but be the same. This is a keeper and you guys are going to make good money on this. I know it for a fact. Honestly, I have a lot of appreciation for both Fahad and Mohammed. They're usually on top of their game to end up buying these really nice exotic cars. Congratulations, dude. Thank you very much. I want to do the photo shoot for this, but this one we're going to do it here. Sure. I like the it. garden backdrop there. It's perfect. Probably try and arrange for it so that we can do it like two shoots or three shoots in one day. Sure.